back with another one for you. Today we're going to be talking about eating until 80%. So when you actually combine eating slowly that we talked about in the last video with eating until 80%, man, you got a recipe for some real success, for getting in shape, for getting lean, for getting the body that you want and the body that you deserve. So eating until 80%. Probably the most important thing when it comes to um, creating a deficit, right, in the intake that you're taking in and for obviously starting to put you into a fat burning zone. But it's probably the hardest too. And here's why it's hard, because we're looking at not just uh, how much we eat, but how, how we feel, right? So we're starting to tune into hunger and appetite signals that we may have like forgot. We may have forgot about. So this one is amazing because here's the deal. It gives you the opportunity to go to Christmas dinner, eat whatever you want, and then not have to bring a scale out, measure shit, not feel gross and disgusting afterwards, not eat a huge ass supper, and then succumb to a coma, a food coma, after you finish that meal. So super, super beneficial in terms of just uh, creating a fat burning environment in your body, as well as giving you uh, the opportunity to actually do something after you eat a meal and give you more energy and allowing you more of those magical moments to, you know, communicate with your family, to play with your kids, to go play sports, to be physically active once you finish a meal. It's not like, you know, seven o'clock rolls around, you're just a write off because you're on the couch because you're in a potato coma. So, what is actually 80% full? So, I'm sure you, you know, with Thanksgiving, if you're in Canada, having uh, experienced Thanksgiving a couple weeks ago, if you haven't yet, you're from the States, that's cool. But that f amount of food that you would eat around Thanksgiving is probably pretty close to, to like 150%. That is like overstuffed. So about 150% is what you would consume at Thanksgiving. Um, being like really, really, really hungry, as in your stomach's going to eat itself, that's like 0%. So 80% is somewhere in the middle. It's not exact, right? It doesn't have to be um, like right 80. It's okay if it's 76. It's okay if it's like 84. You know, it's just a, a rough number so that you're not 100% full. So somewhere between the middle of super, super full and really, really, really hungry. Okay, so you're not topped up all the way. So we talked about this before. 80% full is about two things. So it's about how you, um, how much you eat and then how you feel. So basically you're learning about what portion sizes are appropriate for you and um, what it feels like to be full, what it feels like to be hungry, and then actually what it feels like to be satisfied. So how do we go about doing this? In the beginning, it'll probably be something like, okay, you eat slow. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So eat slow, you're going to take a bite, see how it feels. Check in. Is it a good idea to have another bite? Sure. I feel okay, I'm not full. I'm still a little hungry, I can keep going. So you go ahead, have another bite, check in, see how you feel, repeat, and you go from there. Or, or at the beginning, you can just eat less than you're used to. So when it comes to... Um, your typical portion size, if you would normally have two baked potatoes, you'd have one and a half baked, baked potatoes. If you'd normally have two pieces of chicken, you'd have one and a half pieces of chicken. If you'd normally clean your plate off and lick it off, like I used to do, uh, maybe just leave a, a few bites on your plate. It's all just wins, right, that you accumulate that lead to success over time, okay? So other tricks you could use, um, you could do some physical activity after you eat dinner. If we know that we have something to do after dinner, a lot of times we'll, we won't eat as much um, because we'll, we'll want to be too gross and stuffed. You can use a, a timer. That will help as well. Or you can use uh, what's called the hunger game. So the hunger game basically asks three questions. How hungry are you at a particular time? What is actually hungry? And what is actually full? Okay, so here's the hunger game. Identify what hunger feels like to you, okay? Identify what full feels like to you. Before you eat a meal, ask yourself, how hungry am I? One being, 
not hungry at all, 10 being really hungry. If you feel like a seven, then you can eat. If you're like a, anything less than a seven, then you're probably not hungry enough to eat just yet. So the hunger game is another way that you can go about this. That's to eat. To finish after your meal, how do you feel? Okay, full, absolutely full is 10. Um, if you're no longer hungry, then it's probably good. You're satisfied, no longer hungry. That's one of the, the kind of keystone uh, markers that we use for eating until 80 is do you no longer feel hungry? If you no longer feel hungry, then you're, you're probably okay. So the hunger game is a great way to go about that as well or eat a little bit less, okay? Uh, important to mention here, eating 80 trumps all, right? Like protein, if you got protein left on the plate, it's okay, you can leave it. If you got veggies left on the plate, it's okay, you can leave it. If you got, you know, triple chocolate, fudge, salted, caramel, cake, whatever, cupcake, double stuffed, whatever, still on the plate, it's okay, you can leave it. You know, the world's not gonna fall apart. A lot of us grew up with that mentality that you need to clean your plate off, but it doesn't serve us really well when we've got, you know, a pound of bacon on our plate or something, you know what I mean? So you can leave food on the plate, totally cool. Hunger game, you can use the, leave a little bit on the, on the plate. Uh, you can also just rate your hunger, like we talked about before. So one would be no hunger, 10 would be I could eat a street lamp, okay? So that's another way that you could go about that. If you're a seven or greater, like we talked about before, you can eat. If you're, uh, once you finish, if you're like a two or a three, then you're probably okay, because that would roughly correspond to being 80% full, right? got 20% left in the tank. So that is eat until 80. Again, it's not, it's not easy, but it is so, so, so worth it because then you take with you all the tools that you'll ever need to put yourself into a fat burning zone and to feel good, right? Like just to have the good life, just to have energy, to not feel sluggish, not feel bogged down by some food that you just eat. So eat until 80 is so, so powerful. I, my favorite part about it is that I, I just feel liberated to eat whatever I want, knowing that I can tune into my natural appetite and hunger and fullness cues in order to guide the food that I'm going to be eating. And here's the deal. You're going to find situations, you're going to find environments, you're going to find um, foods, even people uh, that allow you to eat until 80 a little bit easier. Identify those, mark them down, Add a little bit of that into your life and you're laughing, man. Okay, guys, combine eat until 80 with eating slow and you'll put yourself into that fat burning zone and into the next level of getting in shape.